What's going on everyone? New day, new challenge. This one, is this one is a stat check. So if you are not, if, you're, if your characters are not average 6.5 to 7k, I think this is quite hard. Unless your attack is really, really strong. Okay, so I'm going to explain as I go. Okay, so the only boss is Jessica. You have to have at least two enemies within the danger zone. Otherwise, she becomes super strong. And then Weep. It's AoE, does a lot of damage. Does a debuff called Heartbroken. Basically, you take 7% damage increase and be stacked up to 4. When four stacks reaches, you'll take 50% fixed damage at the end of the turn. So you need a lot of healers. So that's the first thing. Um, debuff is also very, very good here. Okay, that's pretty much it for now. That crystal there is to get rid of the heartbroken. Lady and Seema Sakura is quite strong and she just can't take magic damage. Okay, so after a weep is gone, there's two turns cooldown, so just keep attacking. Like, this is your chance. Okay, I would use... Elmeta is really good with her debuff, especially Rose. Everyone gets the debuff. Too bad Chris is out of range, but at least she's doing some work. Um, she ignores melee damage, uh, melee penalty, so it doesn't matter. Even it stays range four, even if you attack point blank, she's gonna counter full damage. Okay, what you can see here, this is heartbroken, so there's only one stack, so it's good right now her counter damage is really weak so attack if you can Basically, her counter is irrelevant, so don't bring a tank. A tank doesn't really do much. Okay, now this is the impend impending rage. I believe that's the name. Okay, so this one gives you this anger mark. So you see this one here. So you're gonna summon a slime. So the slime you don't want another slime next to it, or I think it's too range. Otherwise, it's gonna deal so much damage. So anyway, so you want to. You see that your mobility has been increased. A lot, so you just have to move away from the from your ally. There you go. So this one doesn't move, but it'll do a AOE damage. So there's that. So if you feel like you're not strong enough to take the hit, bring someone like Luna, bring Iris with um, Magic Defense Command or Narn. That'll work. Okay, so now same thing. We can just keep attacking. Don't bother killing it, you can't kill it, it doesn't do any damage. Okay, so you can see these guys, that's why I suggest bringing a Sky Archer, so you can one-shot them. 
before I explain that part. Okay, now you see there's a number on Matthew. So this thing is contagious. After taking action, grants you one stack of heartbroken and infects friendly units within two blocks. So I would suggest that these situation you probably do want to use this character to kill these guys instead. So you can do that. You can attack with them first, or you can attack with them first. Uh, what? How do you say? If you attack with Matthew, you infect them. You end your turn, you infect them. But if they attack, it won't affect. Let's say if I'm over here and attack. Wait, it does. I think. Yeah. Okay. Ignore what. Scratch what I said. Basically, go here, attack. Probably can't kill, but it's fine. So wait until this thing is gone. Then go back to your team. But they don't do a lot of damage. But one thing you have to do, you see this one here recall? It'll summon everyone in range. So these slime can be at a very close range, then they'll be really dangerous. Let's say there's only one slime right now, so it's fine. So when there's two, it does recall, then you're dead. Anyway, so we do want to kill these guys right away. Too weak, too weak. So this annoying part is just that it makes you, you know, your chances of attacking Jessica is just less. That's all. It's just going to try to annoy you. But it's not a big deal. Sorry guys, I hope I'm explaining this clearly. <laughs> This is actually my second time. I tried it once and then I'm like, okay, this is not too hard, it's just stat check. Okay. Now that's done, let's heal. So repeat, now we repeat. Oh, I'm dumb dumb. I moved in with Rachel. So now I have to actually attack with Rachel first. Because she's, she was in two range. Well, since I'm waiting anyways, I'm going to dispel whatever I have next to, next to the crystal. Okay, so at last with Rachel in this case. Okay, like you can see, Matthew is clean now. And don't attack next to her. So now it's two slimes instead of one. Okay, perfect. Both of these got affected. Okay, now we just repeat. For my case, I always attack with... Not attack. I move first with Elmeta. Because I have enough healing and her debuffs... Like you can see that I'm doing a lot of damage because mainly of a, my debuff and my Sakura is quite strong. Okay, now you can see that I have that two on Sakura. Now I gotta go away for two turns. Okay. You have two turns to kill these bats, so don't. Like, not necessary to rush.
If you can kill in one turn, that's cool. If not, they don't do a lot of damage, it's fine. Okay, because now it's the weep. Sorry, I forgot to say. That's why I move everyone away and not take the AoE damage. So I just make sure to keep looking at Jessica's skills. Before they never show you, like, there's no indicator of how, like, their cooldown and stuff of the bosses and, um, P and PvE. But now it's there, so it's good. Very convenient. Okay, now we just repeat again. So Rachel still can't really do much. Mm, inflict, infect it. Mm, let's see. Okay, she's about to get that four stacks. Then she's gonna take a lot of fixed damage. Again, if you see that number, make sure your heroes are not in two range. So how I position right now is perfect. Nobody gets infected. Okay, so I think now it's three slime. There we go. So now I'm going to check um, her HP. So if you feel like you actually kill, don't even bother running away. Mm, you know what, for my case... Uh, I'll just run away to be safe. There's no point to rush. If you guys are low power, run. So make sure you give some distance between them. Social distance. Okay, and then Chris has it. Social distance here. And I'm going to... So the next attack is going to be Roar, so you probably want to be up close to counter damage. Yeah, I think I could have killed, but let me play a little bit safer. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I can kill. Double check everything. Okay, so I probably won't spend too much time. Ah, wait, you know what? I'm just gonna play safe. Still, I know it's still a guide, and I know a lot of people are still kind of new to the game. Let's do it the safer way.
Oh, I might die. Oh, not yet. Go ahead and see. You don't have to worry too much. They don't do a lot of damage. Alright, guys. So, that's it. That's the challenge. Sorry, the explanation took, you know, quite long. But yeah, it's, under, it's important to understand the mechanic because not everyone has the same heroes as I do and different training feel. So whatever works for you, but you need to understand what's going on. Alright guys, thanks for watching and hope this video helps. Bye bye.